Okay, so the accelerated possession procedure whereby a landlord can um, apply to court for a possession order without attending a court hearing undoubtedly has its attractions. Um, however, it's not always the most straightforward um, route and not as easy as some landlords expect it to be. Before landlords should um, commence um, proceedings using this procedure, they need to make sure that they are entitled to use the procedure and that they have complied with all their legal obligations and that they have all the, the paperwork to hand. So uh, for them to be entitled to use the um, procedure, they have to um, have entered into a assured shorthold tenancy, an AST, after the 15th of January 1989. It must, um, the tenancy must, there must be a written agreement or the tenancy must follow on from a written agreement. Um, if it's still within, um, if, if there was a fixed term agreement, then that fixed term must have come to an end and they must have served um, a valid Section 21 notice. The accelerated procedure might also not be appropriate if the landlord is seeking a money judgment for rent arrears, and that's because you're not able to um, obtain that remedy using the accelerated procedure. So a lot of the problems that landlords have with using the accelerated procedure revolve around the, the um, validity of the Section 21 notice, and, and that's because there are a number of reasons um, why a Section 21 notice might be invalid. Um, the landlord might not have complied with all the correct legal formalities, it might have not given enough notice, they uh, might also not have complied with all their obligations in relation to protecting the tenant's deposit. They need to ensure they've protected it properly and served the tenant with all the prescribed information. Um, thirdly, they, if the property requires a licence and they haven't obtained a licence, then they will not be able to validly serve a Section 21 notice. So there are a lot of um, reasons why um, a judge might not be satisfied on the papers that the landlord is entitled to possession, in which case the judge will have to either list the case um, for a hearing, in, in which case the advantage of using the accelerated procedure will have been lost, or the judge will dismiss the claim. Um, Another uh, thing that landlords should pay attention to is that the rules relating to Section 21 notices are going to change as of the 1st of October 2015 and landlords will now have further um, obligations that they have to comply with. They'll need to make sure they don't fall foul of the retaliatory eviction provisions um, relating to housing condition and that they have supplied their tenants with um, the additional information such as the energy performance certificate, the gas safety certificate and the, the how to rent booklet. So uh, as the, um, the obligations on on landlords do grow more onerous and there are more um, ways they can, they can slip up and using the accelerated procedure and, and rushing into commencing proce uh, proceedings using that procedure might not always be the, the, the easiest or the, the cheapest um, uh, option to use. In fact, it, it could cause more, more problems than it solves. So if you have any doubt as to the validity of your Section 21 notice and, and how to recover possession of your, of your property, then do um, call us at Anthony Gold as we have a lot of expertise in, in this area and we'd be happy to help you.